Welcome back to Brain Lord. Last time, Barness here told us that we need another person to hold a button down in here. It's, it's me, isn't it? He wants me to no, hold a button. No, it's not. No. Oh. No, we, we have to do a little bit of backtracking and uh, find our way to Rain, wherever he was last time. Wasn't he... No, I don't remember. <laughs> like three screens back? Yeah. I was gonna say two. Well, I, I guess we're both off here. That was that was three screens right there, wasn't it? But uh, we don't have much further to go because there he is. No, oh, he's just hanging out in a long hole. Yeah, that rascal. And even though he's not physically following us, he, he's following us. This is the best escort mission. Because you don't actually have to escort anything. Yeah. Ooh. Although it is a little, uh, it feels a little tedious. I'll, I'll give you that. Well, you know, I... fact checking is a staple of this sort of genre, isn't it? Yeah, kinda. It, you know, thankfully it's not long. It's just. Oh, we have to do this puzzle again, and and oh, 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 whipped oh. it. <laughs> yeah, whipped it. And what? Wait, wait. There we go. Okay. <laughs> and then we're accused of coming back alone. Great. And you didn't take long. That was yeah. you were right behind me. And so we have to go inside and... I like how uh, he tells you to look inside, but what he actually wants you to do is go inside. Well, I, maybe it's best to look before you leave. Totally not making an ominous reference in any way to something you haven't actually seen yet. But anyway, man, look at all this slowdown that is actually in engine and would happen even on the hardware. There's too many sprites. Too many active sprites. They got the aim, but they don't have the range. <laughs> <laughs> and we got the key to the fourth floor. I wonder where we're going to go next. I, I know. We're gonna go get ice cream. Oh. Oh, oh, he's he's letting us take the key. Well, thank you, Barnes. I don't and think you could stop work. us. <laughs> oh, I thought that was gonna hit me. The way you've been playing, I think it could. Yeah. And a couple more, like, wolf archer men. Nice, oh, nice holy diagonal crap! Jump. What the hell was wrong with me? Why did I do that? It's a bit ballsy of me. And, and oh, Ferris, what do you... <sighs> <sighs> I, I know who yep. forgot he had the key. You mean the person who has had it for all of a minute or two? Oh, wait, no. I guess it wasn't you after all. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got a couple of goblops to kill. And did you check out that bank shot? That was pretty nice. And Ifri leveled up. Good job, Ifri. I think this is going to happen every time one of our little buddies levels up. I'm just gonna say good job. Well, you know, they try so hard. And here we are on the fourth floor with our fourth save point. Which means we're close to the end of the dungeon, finally. I wasn't gonna say. Oh, and, and he who finds the detour will find riches, huh? Well, I, I guess we have to go find ourselves some riches. That's not why you're here. You're here to get a dragon's 
scale, scale to sell for money. So yes, that is exactly why we are here. And oh, I think I remember what happens here. I'm not not too fond of what happened here. Oh no, I made it. Huh. Impressive. Okay. So now seems kind of appropriate. Maybe a little late, but appropriate nonetheless. Uh, did I talk about how shields work in the last two videos? I don't think I did. Uh, I think we briefly touched on that they have a durability, but not... Uh, but not their actual functions. Exactly. Well, uh, as you have seen me do a whole bunch of times, just to, just to like emote and act like a jackass, uh, you can aim your shield in all four directions. You know, you can just hold it out in front of you. But what's weird about these shields is that uh, once you block something, you've got kind of like a an invisible countdown before you can block again. Like, you could still physically hold your shield up, but uh, like a, a subsequent attack would just pass through it and hit you. Fair and enough. another thing about shields is that uh, they actually... If you have a shield equipped, Sometimes you'll automatically block things, which is actually pretty handy. And, on top of that, if an enemy were to, I don't know, about to run into you face first, you know, the auto-block will happen, and then the shield will actually do damage to the enemy. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's, it's kind of weird, and it, it actually works really well. I mean, you know, for what it is. And as far as how much damage your shield does, I think I've got that figured out. It might be actually tied to uh, your power stat in the status screen. I mean, I, I still have to kind of play around with it to find out for sure, but that's that's my running theory for now. And so, so as always, more power is more better? Yes, because it turns out your best offense is also your offense. No, wait, your best defense is also your offense. <laughs> there we go, that's what I wanted to say. And here, Cashin's just staring at the wall. Why are you staring at the wall? That's not helpful. Hmm. Might want to keep that in mind. Yeah, that couldn't be ominous in any way. And the wall had to tell us again that he who can endure will be known as a warrior. Must be important if they told us twice, right? Either that or they just don't think much of your reading comprehension. Oh, they they definitely think our reading comprehension is at the very least alright. But you'll you'll find out about that in the later dungeons. So just checking out uh, the rest of this room, you know. We do have a very specific place we need to be going, but... Oh, come on. Riches. Detours. And, yeah, Ifri is exactly as strong as us right now, I think. Because it took Ifri two shots to, uh, to kill that wolfman, which would have taken us two shots to kill. Now, I really like the, uh, the architecture here, in that... It's a, a big round room that's obviously the top of the tower. Mm-hmm. But it's got a bottomless pit for a floor. Yeah. When you are clearly on the floor below. How many how many well, levels did those staircases go up? Just four. You know, we're just <laughs> Oh. Oh. That's where I screwed up. And oh whoops. So, about that, um, I ran around in circles in frustration, and I kinda forgot that uh, the L3 of the controller I was using was tied to fast forward. <laughs> so, when I mushed the stick around in frustration, I kinda fast forward myself into the, uh, the room up above. And, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to have that button binding anymore. That's not gonna happen again. <laughs> I actually forgot about that. 
You make the oddest mistakes. <laughs> oh well, it happens. Don't know how that wolf guy got onto his little isolated. He made you know, a diagonal L -shaped. jump just like you. Yeah, maybe. Oh, and here we go. Hey, you look, can see me nice blocking. Block. Yeah. But he doesn't shoot fast enough to actually, uh. to actually, uh, force me to not block a shot, so let's just kill him so we can move on. Probably could have just gone with mag magic shot, but, uh. You know. Bound hits harder. And here we have a nice healing fountain that I totally remembered this time. <laughs> and, oh, we've got a healing fountain, a big red carpet leading to a locked door. This this couldn't be important. The master. How do you feel about big bugs? Well, I've never been a huge fan, but... Do you think you would fight a big bug with a bow and arrow? Well, you know me, I'd fight a big bug with a giant hammer. <laughs> yeah, you do. But we don't have access to a giant hammer. So maybe it's best for us to keep our distance. And so here's our boss. It's a giant cockroach. That's kinda not what we were expecting. Also, Look at my power and guard here. We got two and three. You remember those uh, sources of power and uh, protect? I think. Yeah, drop of protect. And then the drops of power. Well, let's just uh, use one of each. Let's see what. Uh, let's see here. Status and. Oh! Three and four. Nice. I've got another source of power. Why don't I uh, pop that sucker? <laughs> Delicious. Oh, it only gave you one. Yeah. I have no idea what they were trying to convey in the description, but they give you one point apiece. Uh, the description makes it sound like it's random from one to three. Hmm. You know, I hadn't considered that. Uh, they both only gave me one, though. I guess I'll, I'll pay attention as I uh, keep finding and using those. And this is a long asshole of a boss fight. So those he's tiny kind of, little... He's kind of not that intimidating once you realize he goes left and right. Yeah, uh, if I got up next to him, he actually would go down to the bottom of the screen. But chasing him around in circles is... Uh, it sounds like it would be more frustrating than what I'm doing right now. I like that he's and... he's effectively a steel ball. Yes. He really is. He's he's one of those red steel balls, except he doesn't chase you, he just runs away. Oh man. Oh, lucky I still had this heart sitting in my, uh, my pouch. My item bag. That's, that's where you keep them. Now, you may be wondering... Liquidy, why aren't you killing all these little, like, ticks or baby spiders or whatever it is he's spawning? That's because they spawn infinitely. There's no point in killing them. There's always going to be at least five or six of the buggers, like, flying around. It's, it's just a complete waste of time. Do you have another heart? I do have oh, another heart. Oh, look at heart. that. You, you did catch it. Yeah, I didn't see it right away. I usually expect things to be at the bottom of my inventory, so that's just where I automatically go. It seems like an odd stylistic choice to always have so many sprites on the screen when they can barely keep up with the, the uh, hardware. Well, that changes a little bit. It, um... Not necessarily next dungeon, but it's, it's not going to be nearly as bad. And, uh... Also, that fight was actually a lot quicker than our test video. Yeah, it was like 10 minutes in the text test video. That's because I didn't realize the, uh, the sources of power were permanent stat upgrades. <laughs> so I was fighting him at half strength. Just, you know, plinking away at him for far too long. 
uh, let's switch back to our sword, because swords are pretty much better than bows most of the time. In any situation. And the, uh, uh, the dragon appears to be gone, but he has a sweet-ass throne. Look at that. When it's not behind a text box. And exactly one scale. Yeah, just one scale. Uh, our buddies came here before, uh, like, they snuck in somehow, and oh, that's how they snuck in. Those sons of bitches. You'd think that the least they could do is fight the cockroach. No, no, they, they broke into the back and uh, just took everything before uh, we could. Typical, right? And we're back in town now. I decided uh, this would be a good time to uh, do a little bit of exploring. Not a whole lot, just a little bit. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, prepare for the next dungeon. The next dungeon is Toronto, isn't it? Oh no, no, we're not going to Toronto yet. Soon. But first we have to learn all about Meister and... Oh! Oh, he sells us these little fairy buddies! He's been holding out on us. Actually, I've been holding out on us. But, you know. So he's got five new types of dudes for sale. <laughs> One of them is an Anger Jade. I love that name. It's great. But uh, let's see what else he's got. got They're Anger awfully Jade. expensive. They are. But, you know, we are essentially buying a uh, an ally to help us out you know, in our adventure. It's got a power jade. Oh, but, but who's that on the far left? Deceased jade. Deceased? And you know what? It's the cheapest one. Well, it is dead. Let's go ahead and buy the dead jade. Our deceased jade's name is going to be Cass. Because that's the developer given name. I don't actually know the reference if there is one. I can't think of one. It must just be the name that they gave it. Yeah. So I think I put away my defense golem buddy. Yeah, Golem, that's his name. I think I'm gonna put away the Defense Jade, because, oh, look at that, we can only have two out. It's unfortunate. But it would be kind of broken if you could have every fairy buddy following you around at all times. The slowdown would be pretty bad, too. <laughs> yes. So here's Cass, it's a little white ghosty buddy with a giant backpack. And... Cass is actually, um, well, you know the reviving mirrors that I have been uh, getting a couple of here and there in the, the dungeon? Yeah. Cass is the fairy version of a reviving mirror. Um, Cass wouldn't actually revive me now if I were to die, but as Cass levels up, well, as soon as Cass has one level up, when you die, Cass will actually sacrifice that uh, level to revive you. Making it the only jade that could go from level 0 to some other level and then back to 0 again if you were really bad at the game. Oh. That's just flabbergasting. <laughs> Kinda great. But she I should went in also... and went in the back didn't fight the Guardian, and, and stole all of the... Uh, all the dragon scales. All the dragon scales. I'm just... And then inflated the market so that presumably ours won't actually be worth as much anymore. Yeah, we, we have some terrible comrades. Well, they're, terrible. they're terrible to you. Yeah. And, uh, that guy told us to come back to him after we were done with the Tower of Light, and that's what he had to say. <laughs> Just a tiny little blurb. That's it. Thanks, guy. Hmm. 
But you know, we still have a ton of money. And maybe there's more magic for me to buy. Not from her. Yeah, that's... I wanted to be angry at her for selling stuff that she could just give to us, maybe? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's clean out the magic lady. Because more magic is more better. It... What? We just cleaned you out! Why would... Oh, these people are rude! That's so what you get when you're Google Translated. <laughs> well, I don't know if we had Google Translate in, uh, what, did it say 94? I think it was 94. So the price is really fallen. You know what, I would keep the thing. <laughs> yeah, but we have to sell it to him if we want him to move out of the way so we can explore the tunnel he was digging. And certainly not the path to the next dungeon. Oh. But now we need an axe? You're a blacksmith. Yeah, but, uh... I don't know, maybe someone in town is selling an axe. Certainly this building that is clearly a shop that we've never entered before. What's this guy have to say? Hmm, he's, do you agree? He's a fan of big hammers. I think you agree. <laughs> and, oh, this guy's just an item shop. There is a basement to check out, though. So I go ahead and buy one of each of the things we haven't seen yet. I don't recall if I looked at their descriptions, though. But, uh, let's see, the cape herb... I think that takes care of uh, Paralyze, you know, the stuff that the, uh, the, the brain lords do to us. There's the antidote herb that takes care of something we haven't seen yet, and surely you can't figure out on your own. I have no idea. Um, and then those uh, red and blue orbs are temporary versions of the uh, source of power and drop protect. And here's our axe. Although I'm a little more interested in what's to the right of the axe. What was that? Well, first let me be a little confused about the trade menu. Uh, let, let's not do that. I don't know what it does. Well, I do know what it does, but I'm not going to go into it. It's bad. Don't do it. Or you can just buy it with all the money you have. Well, I don't have all that much money anymore. So I'd better sell some stuff to recoup my losses. Oh, I sold the buckler? I shouldn't have sold the buckler. Well, it's free, uh, free shield. But you have oh, a shield. Yeah, but if one shield breaks, then you have a backup shield. Won't you just find more shields? You don't know that. And oh, look at that! We have boomerangs. Second best weapon in the game. Second best weapon type, I should say. We're not already using endgame stuff here. Don't get That's me true, and I don't see a hunting horn here, so it can't possibly be the best weapon. And, uh, let's see, I don't know if we're going to see any of it yet, but- Oh, there we go, that's what I was trying to do. If you throw a boomerang and run just right, it'll actually circle you infinitely trying to get back into your hands. <laughs> And here's the axe, and here's a preview of a bonus video I want to do. Oh. You're gonna wreck up the place, aren't you? No, no, shh, 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 shh. <laughs> so here we're going to actually see a little bit of slowdown. At this point, I had been recording for an hour and a half. Don't record for an hour and a half, that's bad. But uh, we are at the end of the video, so if we can... Oh, there it is. Ugh. <laughs> so, on that note, next time, we are going to see the next dungeon. Fantastic. And maybe a, pre maybe a preview of the spells if I remember to. Well, it's been a pleasure, guys. See you next time.